uh, almost more than 17 plus years of experience uh, in, in, in the field and has trained over 10,500 employees. And he has a lot of exposure in the region. He has traveled extensively to many countries in the region and uh, we are very excited to have him here today with us. And uh, without any further delay, I would like to uh, welcome Mr. Ramzan. And um, the floor is all yours, Mr. Ramzan. Yeah. Please go ahead. Perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Benil, for my introduction. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. People have joined from across the regions. So I'm very excited that we have just started a session and we have 100 plus participants join. Uh, this is Ramzan Rajani here from UAE, Dubai. And uh, Benil has already given my introduction, but I will just add a little bit, few sentences into that. Uh, I am a Microsoft Excel specialist and I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer. Uh, having more than 17 years of experience completely in the database management, writing complex formulas in Excel, preparing nice looking interactive and dynamic dashboard in Excel, working with Power BI, creating dashboards in Power BI, publishing, working with the PowerPoint. So these are my specialist specialty. So now without wasting a time, I think we should start with the session because I have lots of interesting tips and tricks that I will be covering. And after the session, not after the session, during the session, you will say, wow, this is something amazing you have learned in next 45 minutes of my session. So this is a webinar friends. I have got messages that are, can I record or will you do recording? So yes, we have already started the recording. So don't worry after the session, you will get the recording and you will also get the practice files if you wish from Benil. Uh, so that if you want to practice, you can practice on your own and then you can implement in your own file. Okay, everybody. So let's get started. So in this next 40, 45 minutes, I will be covering six interesting tips and tricks, which you can learn now and quickly implement today itself in your work. It's so common that you will say, wow, this can be implemented. So let's start with the session frames. Okay. So the first trick in Excel is related to dynamic charts. So I'm coming on my first sheet and I have some data friends. So in this data, I have a data from Jan to June. And if you want to create a chart on it, you all know how do you create a chart, correct? You go to the insert menu and you create a chart. I will show you a quick shortcut first. So to create a chart from the keyboard, you just have to press Alt F1. This is the key. So I put my cursor inside till now. I have not started with tricks. It will come slowly, slowly. So if I wanted to insert a chart, I will quickly press Alt F1 and my chart will be ready. So the first thing you have learned now is Alt F1 is a shortcut to a chart. But sometime friends, Alt F1 will not work. On the desktop, big keyboard, it will work. But in the laptop, sometime it does not work because of the keyboard setting. So at that time, you should press Alt Function F1. There will be a small function key on the left side of the keyboard near the control. So you have to press that key. So Alt F1 or Alt F1 is a shortcut for creating a chart. This is the first small point. Now, if you want to change the design of a chart, you can come and from here, you can change the design. Got it? This many of you might already be knowing. So what extra I'm going to show you? I'm going to show you how do you create a dynamic chart? What do you mean by dynamic chart? Dynamic chart is something like this. I have a data till June. Now, if I come over here and if you put July over here, and I put some number. Will July come in a chart? No, it won't come. If I type August over here, will it come? It will not come. So what we do normally friends, normally you click on a data and you quickly increase the range. So we click on this chart and we come on the corner and we yeah. agree. So this way basically we do it. 
now what if i show you directly instead of dragging it down you just press one button and automatically chart will capture that is a one point the second point i will before i come on a trip i will give you the problems first and then the solution let's say you have some data friends over here i request everybody to keep uh, themselves on mute so it will be good now friends you have another data this is a simple data over here and if you want to do the total over here i am just putting one total over here okay so this is my total if on this to this is a total for all your records agree now if you will do the filter let's say for example if i do the filter and if i say i wanted to see only dubai record see when i filter on dubai will this total change if i say okay no this total won't change it means in my sum formula whenever i filter the data my data my total does not change in dubai if i wanted to see only laptop sales for example so if i click on a laptop this total does not change this is addition of all the hidden records whereas it should only show you the total of this sales so this is a biggest problem of the sum formula now friends how do you solve this problem how do you solve this problem this problem can be solved with the help of dynamic table and now here is the trick so now before you press alt f1 you have to press one more small shortcut that is your control t so whenever you press control t your data becomes dynamic let's take a example now you all should be paying more attention i will put my cursor in a data friends and i am pressing control t and it will ask you hey ramzan do you want it to create this a table control t is a shortcut for table if you will tell me okay ramzan if i don't remember control t then what no problem you go to the insert and there is a option table you see there are two things one is pivot table and another is table this is very very powerful thing friends table is something amazing feature of excel i click on a table and i say okay your data has become beautiful your data has become colorful but more than colorful this is has become a dynamic it means whenever you do anything on it that things will be dynamic let's take example now i press alt f1 and my chart is ready you wanted to give a design you gave a design from here got it now you see the magic everybody if i come over here now you see selection is still june but as soon as i type july you will see automatically it will come in a chart and i say july wow my july is there i type august my august data is there i type september september is there i type october october is there it means if i convert my data into the table automatically whenever you will increase the range it will automatically take into the table is not this amazing feature you don't have to even drag it you just created few records and you gave it to your team in future your team just adds the data and automatically it gets added in the chart so you see in last few minutes 5 minutes you have learned so many thing the first thing which you have learned is the concept of control t that is converting your data into the table the second thing which you have learned is how do you create a chart with the help of shortcut either by pressing alt f1 or by pressing alt function f1 wait not only this friends now i will show you something more amazing feature in this in the same topic like we have some data over here and you have a total over here correct and i have already shown you that if i filter my data over here let's say on dubai so you don't see only the total of this you see the total of all but what if i want whenever my management filters the big data automatically it should show the sales of only that many records or let's say for if you want to see the count then what is the solution solution is control t just press control t and your work is done so come on any cell in the data and press control t t for 
table and you just say okay that's all i'm deleting this and after pressing control t if you will say ramzan now how do i get the total in the end so you have to press another shortcut control shift t wow so you got the total so what two shortcut i have pressed one is control t and another is control shift t with control t your data became dynamic and with control shift t automatically you got the total now you will say ramzan what is the benefit the benefit is this now whenever you will come over here and you will say hey i wanted to see dubai sales and when you select dubai you see friends over here over here and i say okay wow so my data has changed not the data but the total has changed i come over here and i say over here for example if i wanted to see only the laptop sales and when i say okay for laptop you see this has changed is not this interesting friends that whenever you are doing the filtering automatically your data is changing this is something very very interesting feature which you should in fact i can tell you this also that all your data whatever is your data in a excel just press control t convert into t table what will be the benefit the benefit will be it will become dynamic so that in future if you add more rows automatically chart will capture another benefit will be whenever you will do the filter the total will come automatically this is really amazing feature which some formula does not give you now i will show you one more very very third interesting feature of this and you will say wow ramzan this is something amazing you have shown us and that is the concept of interactive filter over here would you like to see one more interesting feature i will show you here let's say you have this data now how many records are there i am pressing control and down arrow key to go to the last record so i have around 3000 records in this if i tell you that i wanted to filter the data okay i wanted to filter the data so how do you filter so normally you will say ramzan we will press a shortcut control shift l or we will go to the data and we click on a filter and you come over here and let's say for example i say dubai in dubai i wanted to see for example sales person let's say abdul so i click on abdul i wanted to see only hard disk record so i select hard disk this way you do filter right but what if i show you something magical thing amazing thing and with the buttons that you don't have to do filter only you want to see dubai record you just click on dubai and it will all the dubai record you click on speaker speaker it's amazing let, let let's see how do we do that so to do that friends the first step is you have to convert your data into the table again table is coming into the picture so what i am doing is i am just inserting few rows above you know how do you insert a row in excel right you say right click and insert but have you seen i have not done the right click and insert i have done a shortcut does anybody know what is a shortcut for inserting a row so you click on a row number 1 and you can press control shift plus this is a shortcut for inserting a, a row or you can say control plus so i am pressing control plus and my row is inserted if you are using a laptop and you are using the plus which is above you have to say control shift plus okay you have added few rows now you see something interesting and now i am converting a data into what table so i press control t and i will say okay done so i have converted my data into the table now you will say ramzan now what nothing very simple i go to the view first i am unchecking the grid line so that i don't want to i don't like this grid line so i just uncheck it now you will see i will go to the insert and have you heard something like this about the slicer this is very good feature of excel you can use for preparing a nice looking dashboard for the management so i click on a slicer over here 
and he will ask you, hey, which slicer you want? So many times your management I ask, okay, show me all the record city wise. Sometimes they ask product wise, sometimes they ask salesperson wise, different, different. Your data will be different than my. Okay, so let's say I will say my management asked me product wise also, city wise also and salesperson wise. I wanted to give them all the feature, let them click and get the data as per their need. And you will say, okay, wow. So now I will take the product, put it over here. I take the city, put it over here and I take the salesperson, put it over here. Got it? Now you see how I will arrange very nicely. I will click on a product. Now this is a very big area. So I just wanted to adjust it. So why not we convert this into the two columns. So I click on a slicer and in this options, you will see one option columns. So I say I want two columns and I will come over here in the bottom and I will adjust it. Again, I come on the city and I see two columns and from the bottom I adjust it. Sales, I click on it and I think let's make it three. We have more names and let's adjust uh, something like this. Perfect. Good. Okay. Done everybody. Now, if you wish to uh, change the color. If you love color, you can even do that as well. So I click on a product and over here only in option, you get different colors. Uh, if you want, you can just uh, change it. Okay. So I'm just uh, keeping something like this. It's too dark. Okay. Let's keep it. Now, do you want to see the magic? See now, if your manager says, Hey, uh, uh, Ramzan, can you show me all the records of Sharja? You just come here and click on Sharja. As soon as I click on Sharjah, you will see everything. This is a one time job. How much time it took? It took me three to four minutes, not less than that. I click on Sharjah. My Sharjah data is ready. Data means all the records. If I wanted to see laptop, I click on a laptop. I click want to do, see the data of Abdul. This is the data of Abdul. This is for Ali. This is for David. This is for Muhammad, Nancy, whatever, Kumail. Okay. Is not this amazing? If you wanted to do this with filter, how many times you would have done? You have to go to the data, click on filter or control shift L or go up again, click again, click and select clear, select clear. You will say, Hey, Ramzan, if I wanted to clear this, how do I do that? Means again, I wanted to bring all the city data back. Then what? Very simple. You remove the clear the filter here. What you have to do, you know, you just have to click on this. See this. This is also one kind of filter friends, but this is an interactive way of doing, which is very easy for the normal user and for our management that they click and easily they can see it. Again, I click on this option, clear filter. And again, my all the data is back. I wanted to bring all the salesperson data back. Again, I come over here and I say clear filter. All your data is back. Is not this all amazing feature friends. Did you like this feature? Okay. This is very interesting. So now till now, if you will see, we have spent only 20 minutes till now. And in 20 minutes, I have kind of covered three important point. The first point, what I covered was control T. So we said we wanted to create a dynamic data. So first you have to press the control T. So we pressed control T and my data became dynamic. After it became dynamic, I pressed Alt F1 and I got a dynamic chart so that whenever I add more data, automatically my chart will reflect. This was the first point. What was the second point which I did? I will, I will do the revision so that you, you can recollect. Otherwise, you will go on forgetting when we go ahead. Then we saw, okay, whenever we filter the data, uh, this number uh, does not change. So we said, why not to convert the data into the table? So we said, control T converted the data into the table. And now whenever you will filter on any of the things, let's say if I filter on David, so you will see only the sales of David. This was the second point. What was the third point which we covered? We said we regularly wanted to do the filter data, filter, data, filter. Instead of this, what are the three steps we did? The first step was 
insert few rows above okay above the data that is understood okay and what is the shortcut you will press that is control plus or control uh, shift plus this is the shortcut this is the first step okay then what was the second step over here the second step which we saw was <clears throat> press control T so that your data became stable. And what was the third step? The third step was insert slicer from insert tab. Okay. So this will be very, very easy. If you quickly wanted to take a photo of it, you can quickly take the photo of these steps or in the end, I'm going to give you one six lines in each line one uh, steps will be there so you can take the photo of that as well okay so this was again a very very interesting part friends okay so now we will move little bit more ahead into this okay now friends i'm going to the next option of magical change case okay does anybody know friends if you can reply me on the chat message if i have everything in small letters like I have my first name and last name Ramzan Rajani. If I wanted to convert this into the capital letter, which formula you use? So we have more than I think 155 people now who will tell me friends, what is the formula we use? Some of you might be knowing if I wanted to convert this into the capital letter or small letter or a first letter. Very good, Dinesh. Dinesh replied, upper formula. Anybody else? So only Dinesh know from 150 people. I, I think many people might be knowing. So waiting for your reply, friends. What is the formula we use to convert a first character into the capital? Which formula you use? Very good. So I think uh, ah, Ajay replied proper. Okay, correct. Alt F3 Mario. Uh, so Mario Alt F3 will not work my friend because that works in MS Word. Correct. And it's not Alt F3. It's Shift F3 to convert everything into the capital small or first character that work in Word. That is Control F3, not Alt F3. But good try. But in Word. Hussein is saying proper. Very good friend. What? If I show you something magic. Without the formula, you can convert everything into the capital without the formula, everything in small and without the formula, first character in capital, no formula needed. This is amazing feature. And this is known as magical fill to be very frank. It's not a magical fill name. Uh, otherwise you will search where is magical fill. Uh, it's basically a flash fill in Excel, which you can find in data tab. If you will go to quickly the data tab, and over here, do you see this option flash fill? This is option, but we say it as magical fill because it, it does some magic. Okay. Now I want you to pay attention and see how I am going to do it. So what I'm going to do it, I'm just inserting few columns so that uh, I can apply and show you. Okay. Now over here, you have some data friends. And I wanted to convert Ramazan, Santosh, Kumail, everything in capital letter. So you have to tell Excel that, hey, Excel, I want like this. Means you have to give him a pattern. We say it as pattern a idea that I want something like this. And then you do it for yourself. So how do we do that? So here you don't have to write equal, upper, equal, lower and proper. No. You just have to type the way you need. So I say Excel, hey Excel, I need Ramzan in capital letter. Normally we don't convert everything into the capital to be very frank. We mostly use a proper case that is the first character capital. So let's say I type the way I need. So I say everything in capital and I press enter. That's all. Now what? Now you don't have to do anything. You just have to go to the data tab. In data, do you see this option flash fill? Just click on it. And those of you who love, you can press control E. So control E is a shortcut for flash fill like Danilo just type. I just saw that. 
So I come over here and I click on flash fill and wow, entire thing is done. No need of formula. <laughs> Again, I come over here and I say, I want this word Rajani also Excel in capital. You type Rajani the way you need. And then I come over here and now I am using a shortcut. What is a shortcut? Control E. So I am pressing Control E and my all the data is done. So this way friends without using upper lower and proper you can do it but a small note over here see formula has its own value and flash fill has its own uh, positive points and negative points now you will say now what is this now for example if i come over here and if i change this name i type benil and i type for example another name Will this change Ramzan Rajani? This is not change because this is a flash fill. This has happened through magical way and it is without the formula. So it will not update dynamically. Understanding this will not update when you change. So you will say Ramzan, we normally don't will not change the names and every, but if you have some data, which sometime you get it from the system you put and that should change automatically. Then you will not use flash fill. This is for one work. Okay? You, the data is not going to change. You just have to do one one time and that's all. Then flash fill is one of the best option. Now, if you have, and now the benefit is what? Once you come over here, you can just delete this and your data is ready. But those of you who don't know the formula, I think I should explain them because I just saw only two to three response. So let me show you other people how we do the formula. Let's say I wanted to convert everything into the first character as capital. So over here, friends, you will come and you will say equal and you will say proper. Proper will convert first character into the capital. So I say proper and I select Ramzan. That's all. Double click and your work is done. How do you do for Rajani? You will say equal and you will say proper and you select the text which you wish to convert and again i come on the card now what is the benefit for this friends what is the benefit the benefit is this is dynamic now i come over here and if i say for example over here binil small letters so i say binil babu so over here you see this has been converted first character into caramel so this is a difference between you so formula is always take the preference if you wanted to keep it dynamic but if you just wanted to do once flash fill is okay. Control is okay. So that's why we say it as magical fill. Let me show you one more interesting thing for a flash fill friends. So again, I go to my next sheet and you have some sales data and you have a data of 2018 and 19 and you want to convert, not convert. You wanted to extract some names. So how do we do that? Normally we select the data. I'm showing you in a, over here, uh, flash will will copy also the formula. No, no, Imad. flash will will not copy the formula. My friend, uh, flash will, you just have to type the way you need and say control E that's all in, if you type a formula and press control E, it will not drag down. I, I'm understanding from where you are coming. So flash will will not work for the formula. Yeah. Okay. Friend. So I was over here. So good question. I'm over here and I wanted to separate first name and last name friends. How do we separate? We normally select and you go to the text and you have an option text to column. I think, I think 50% of you might be knowing how do you separate first name and last name. So we click on text to column and then we say next, then we say space. This I'm not teaching, just I'm showing you the way you do and you say finish this way you separate first name and last name. Okay. But what if you don't want it to use that, then again, you can use a flash fill and over here I will come and I will say, Hey, I just wanted to separate first name and last name. So you just have to tell Excel, Hey Excel, I want Nancy from this data. I press enter. That's all. And I'm pressing what shortcut control E and my, all the first name is extracted here. Now friends, you will find one little difficulty when you will do practically because I need to share everything with you. If you have multiple names, multiple names means sorry, uh, like you have first name, middle name, last name in uh, middle in first name, you have Muhammad Ali 
or you have David Nancy. Okay, so what Excel will do? A flash will flash will will take the first word. Let's say the word is Muhammad Ali. So he will extract Muhammad. He will not extract Ali. And in another name, you have only Ramzan. So it will be very challenging to do flash fill over there. Then we use a left formula sometime depending upon the data. This example which I have shown you to extract only the first name where you have only the first name and last name as one one word. So these are the things which you should know. It should not happen that magical fill he will do everything. No. It also has some limitation, but maximum Microsoft have tried to solve our to make our life easy in the same way. If I will say, hey, Excel, I want over here free half a then what I come over here and I say flash fill my free app is extracted all the last name is so simple. So if you know the option life is simple friends. If you don't know some people get frustrated with Excel. Why <laughs> they don't know the option. Some people enjoy living in Excel. Why? Because they have learned the option on their own or they might have got trained from somebody else. So when you learn something, everything's become easy. If you don't learn, then everything is challenging for you. Let me give you one again, a very, very interesting example over here. And you will say, wow, this is again interesting. So Allah is saying, so this works only instead of text to column space. Uh, no, Allah not only the space, uh, but if you have hyphen also, let's say you have a name, uh, for example, uh, uh, Nancy hyphen free half. So if you say, okay, I wanted to extract Nancy, 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 David, Ramzan, and before the hyphen, whatever is there, he will extract it. So not only the space, you have any character, he understands and he extracts at that. Uh, if you learn and practice it often, yes, Halim, yes, you are right. I agree with you. This needs little bit practice. Uh, it makes man perfect. So more you practice, more you uh, learn in this. In fact, now th after learning this, if you don't practice for the next 15 days from this six point, you are going to forget at least one or two point. <laughs> okay. So where was I? Okay. Huh? I was over here that uh, the another example. So friends, I have over here. For example, first name and last name, and uh, I wanted to combine it. So how do you combine first name and last name? Everybody, I will insert one column and let's say I will say full name and uh, here also you can use a flash fill, but I think before explaining a flash fill, I should also share a very simple formula, not concatenate, you know, concatenate, right? Equal concatenate. I will show you in a very simple way. So that formula also some of you who are expert in Excel, they might be knowing this also. So this Nancy is in which, which cell friend? This is in uh, A to cell and free heifer is in which cell? It is in B to cell. So C2 and B2 or whatever cell you have A2 and B2. So you say equal A2 and B2, that's all. Combine, khalas, very simple. So you will say, hey, Ramzan, I don't see a, a space between Nancy and free half. How do I do that? Very simple. Double click on it, friends. This is little you have to pay attention. After A2 means uh, after Nancy, you need a space, right? So space, you have to put in two double quotes, not two times single quotes. Shift double quotes. Where is double quotes? Before your enter key, see your enter key before that you have double quotes. So I say and space and B2. It means between two double quotes, you have put a space bar. Now you can put anything. You can put hyphen, you put star, you put uh, whatever you want. You just put it. Okay. And you press enter and your work is done. So this is the actual formula. Those who know, very good. Those who don't know, it was for them. Yes, I think see Ghazi Allah uh, has replied. Very good. Dinesh has said and Christina. Very good. Amazing. I love uh, I love this all. Very good. So you all are very active. Good, good. Amazing. So yeah, friend. But what if you will say Ramzan, I don't want to use formula. I just wanted to complete my work. Complete it. Use a flash fill. So how do you use a flash fill? First, let me show other people, those who don't know for them, those who know good. I double click on it and your all the first name and last name is done. Correct. 
Now friends, what happens? This C column is dependent on A and B. Correct? What do you mean by dependent? Dependent means if I delete A and B column, what will happen? If I delete A and B, naturally C will go because C column is created, is constructed with the help of A and B. Now I'm explaining for those people who don't know. Okay. Now you have to break a link between C and A and B column. So that if you delete this two column, this does not go. So you have to disconnect, right? So you will use paste spatial option. Remember one is paste and another is paste. So you will select the column and you will say control C for copy and you will right click and there is an option one, two, three. That is a paste spatial value. It means what this option will do. This option will remove all the formulas from background and will paste a value means like Nancy free heifer. Actually, it will come in a cell and I press click class. And now do you see this? There is no formula. Now friends, if you delete this both, this will not go. I will explain once again to those who wanted me to repeat. You have a formula and my intention is if I delete this two the C column gets deleted. I don't want that. So I wanted to disconnect. I wanted to remove the formula from background. So you will first select the data column control C for copy. You have a shortcut also control alt V for paste spatial, but I'm not going into that. You say right click one, two, three, or let me show you. You say copy and you press control alt V, which is a shortcut for opening a paste spatial. And over here, you click on value. Those who now know love shortcut, they will use this control alt V for show spatial. Click on a value and you say, okay. And now it is done. Perfect Allah. You are right Allah. Copy paste spatial value. Amazing Ajay. You can also use alt E S V amazing team. I love this, but I use a uh, uh, control alt V Ajay uh, alt E S V we are using in an old version here. Also it will work, but uh, now here you can also press control alt V, but good sharing alt E S V is also a shortcut for pay special. Very nice. I'm happy. So yeah, I was over here that we can use a formula, but what? If you don't want to use a formula, don't use no problem. You use directly the flash fill and enjoy. So I come over here and I say, I don't want first name and last name. And now over here, you just tell Excel the way you need and same I'm coming on flash fill. So you say Excel, Hey Excel, I need Nancy. Then I need space. Then I need a free heifer. Just type this way the way you need and Excel will understand your um, a pattern. And now I go to the data and where you will click flash fill. Wow. Everything is done. Is not this perfect. You see, you see this. So their life becomes simple without the formula. But again, again, for your information, if I change over this to Kumail Rajani, it will not change. Why? because you have done with magical fill. If you would have used the formula A2 and B2, then you change over there here. It would have changed. Got it friends. So you see so many interesting things we covered in last 40 minutes. So what are the things we covered? We covered first the concept of dynamic table. Now this is the screen which I wanted you to take a screenshot uh, from your laptop if you are using or if you are using a mobile, why not to take out quickly your mobile and just take a photo of it. So all the six points are in front of you anytime uh, whenever you need. Okay. I will just wait here for a few seconds friends. And uh, so that if you wanted to take a photo, you can take. Why should I wait? I will explain you and those who wanted to take, they can take. So the first thing which we have done is the dynamic table. So how do you create a dynamic chart? You just select the data, press control T, which will convert your data into the table and then press alt F1 and your chart will be ready. And then whenever you add extra months, automatically chart will increase its range first term. 
The second thing which we saw was if you press control T, you can data get converted into the table and then you say control shift T. So you will get the total. I think I have not explained you this point count min max and average one, right? I will cover it right away. So I will go to my sheet count and I say control T and I press enter. If friends, if you want your manager says, Hey, Ramzan, I wanted to know total sales. What you will do. You will say equal sum agree. If I wanted to see what is a maximum sales, you will use a maximum formula. If you want minimum sales, you will say minimum formula. Your manager says, Hey, Adil, can you show me quickly? What is the average sales? You will say equal average. Got it. These are the formulas we use. What if you don't want it to use this formula, convert your data into the table and your work is done. So I press control T and now you will press control shift T and you got a total. Listen very carefully and see it in the end of the record over here. You got total. Now your manager says, Hey, I wanted to see average sale. No problem. I come over here and I click on a drop down. You will get the, all the formulas, regular use formula. I click on average. Wow. This is my average sale. You wanted to see how many records are there. There are 12 records in this selection. What is the maximum sales? Maximum sales, minimum sales, minimum sales. And again, I say, for example, sum again, this is my total sum. Not only this, if you will say, Hey, Ramzan, I wanted to do it for the count. No problem. Do it for count. Just click on it and you will see the arrow over here. Again, I click on it. And from here you can do the sum. You wanted to see average sales of Dubai city. No problem. Come over here and I come. Oh, why I'm using filter. Why I'm using filter. Why not? I go to the insert and I say the slicer and I want a slicer of a city. That's all and give it to the management and just give it them and keep it on the right hand side or wherever you can arrange. We click on Dubai. This is the average sales of Dubai. This is the average we have took, right? Or what I have took. Ah, this is a sum. Let me take average. This is the average sale. Sharjah, Ras Al Khaimah. Or let's say, for example, I want a sum. So over here, you said Dubai sales, Sharjah sales, Ras Al Khaimah, Ajman, Abu Dhabi. If I want to clear it, I click on clear and I get for everybody. It's not this interesting thing, friends, you have learned. So this was the one topic which I skipped. And I wanted to keep it in the end friends. Okay. So again, I will go in the end and I will quickly show you after this, we have also done the, how do you add the interactive slicer? And then we saw three interesting option of flash fill. What was the shortcut for flash fill? Control E. So we converted all the capital into the small, small into the capital. Then we said, okay, we use to separate first name and last name with the help of text to column. Instead of that, you can just type the first name and press control E and everything will be there. And in the end, we also saw if you wanted to combine first name and last name, okay, you can use a formula plus you can also use a flash fill. Uh, Danilo. With the dynamic table, do I lose my formulas? No, no, Danilo, you can't, you will not use a lose a formula. Formula will be there. Even if you convert your data, which is already hanging formula, just with control T, it will be there. Can you show me the slicer again? Okay, slicer again. I will show you. Let's say, for example, uh, this is the data. Why not if I have some data related to uh, HR data? because I see some of you are in HR as well. So I will show you another example for it. Let's say friend, that was a sales data, right? Let me show you on HR data. Let's say uh, you are in HR and you have, let's say thousands of people in your company like this. I have around 2000, around 2400 employee. I have their first name, last name. This file I take when I do a special session for HR for prof HR professionals. So have gender, nationality, uh, department, marital status, and uh, all the uh, important fields. Okay. Faith, job level, designation. And every time, now, Benil, what happens is you wanted to see uh, uh, you filters sometime uh, on mail. You wanted to see all the mail record. Or sometime you wanted to see all the Egyptians uh, uh, people or all the Indians or all the people in sales. So every time you do filter, I will show you one very interesting way. 
means I have already shown the way. What is the steps? You will come here and you will fill some rows above. After inserting some rows, what you will do? Only one shortcut, friends. You just have to press Control T and your work is done. And I say Control T and I press Enter. And after this, what you will do? You will insert a slicer. So I come here. This way, you insert a slicer. The person who was asking, go to Insert. Remember not to keep the cursor outside. If you keep the cursor outside and if you say slicer, you will get an error. If you're getting existing error, so there can be two reasons. Either you have kept the cursor outside or your version is old version. So I come and put my cursor inside the data. You go to the insert tab and say insert the slicer. With slicer you need, hey, every time I wanted to filter a nationality, on department, I also filter regularly on designation and let's take gender also. Okay. And my, this is ready. Again, I come over here and I will not take more than few seconds to arrange it very quickly with, by converting this into the different columns and I move it up. And again, I took the department. Again, I make it two and I make it small and that's all dear. That's all. And now you just have to uh, click and do the filter. So let's say I come on this gender and I say, for example, this color and I say filter on gender female in female. I wanted to see all Egyptians. So these are the, all Egyptians, all the females, all Indians, all males. I wanted to clear. I say clear, clear. I wanted to see all my Azadia employees, all who are in finance. So I come over here and I click on finance. These are all my finance people record. I wanted to see in that all the people who are in UAE. So I click on finance and I click on UAE. Amazing. So there are three females. Oh my God. So there are three females. All are female in finance huh? in UAE. Okay. Okay. So by the way, this all things you can do it again. I click. Okay. Here there can be one interesting question here. Ramzan. I wanted to see two department. I wanted to see human resource also and finance also. Is it possible? So yes, it is possible. How do we do that? I click on finance. So you got all the finance record. Now I wanted to see human resource. So you can press with the help of shift. You can click on human resource also. So now you have human resource and finance both. Okay. And again, when you click on this option, clear filter, it gets clear. Okay, so this was the answer which one of the participant asked to repeat. Now, Ghazi, I have replied, Tamara is saying, if I use flash fill, okay, and then I add a few names at the end of the table, can I drag the previous cell? And it gives me the same result. Amazing question, very nice. I will reply to this. So what Tamara is trying to say, if I had few names at the end of the table and then I drag previous name, will it come on? Ah, okay, okay, I got your question. So for this, what I will do Tamara is, uh, I will come over here and we will take one example for you. I say new file and I say pay special uh, and I increase the this, okay. Now, uh, what she's trying to Tamara, he's trying to say is control T. I press enter and over here I come and I say, for example, full name. And uh, if I use a flash fill, then if I few names at down the table, it gives me, yes, you get the option of dragging, not in this, but if it is a table, it automatically drags Tamara. Like if I come over and if I say Excel, Hey Excel, I want like uh, uh, something like this without first, I will show you A A C H M A I N Y U Y U T S. You have to be very careful <laughs> with the spellings. If you do one spelling wrong, everybody where it will affect. So I go to the data and I say flash fill. So it combined, but if you add a new name over here, it will not combine. See if I say Ramzan Rajani, no, but you can come over here and you say control E. And again, it will take it for you directly. You don't have to type once again, like over here. If I type your name, for example, Tamara Jabir and come here and say control E, it is done. Okay. So you can do this way. Good question. 
Danilo is asking, can I use the slicer in separate sheet to be as a summary? No, Danilo, this is not possible. Slicer has to be in a same uh, sheet. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 You have flash fill is not dynamic, right? No, it's not dynamic, but you have to again press control E the way I just explained. Hassan, hi, is it possible send us the recorded? Ha, huh, yes, we will send it to you. Uh, okay, Benil has replied. Okay, friends, so this was all about it. And I hope you all have enjoyed the session and you have learned in last 45 minutes something very interesting things which you can uh, implement it. Uh, Aya is asking, can you repeat the one related to dynamic? Uh, means you want me to repeat how do you convert to the dynamic so yes you can convert this into the dynamic how I will show you once again so let's say for example um, I have just pasted a new data so I can explain you very clearly so let's say you have data and you wanted to convert this into the dynamic table friends so you just have to press Control T and say okay so your data become dynamic. And then I said, if you want to insert a total in the end, then you say control shift T and your data becomes uh, adds a total in the end. Okay, so this way you do. Uh, then can you repeat just one question, Hamza? Yes, Hamza, go ahead and ask question friend. Don't worry. I have few more minutes. Sara, thank you. Rola Mata, what about the quarterly report? Thank you, Ramazan. Thanks, Benal, for sharing. Okay, so the quarterly report is this, friends. So I have that sheet as hidden. I have to unhide a sheet. <laughs> so I right click and I say unhide, and uh, this is a grouping date. So like this, friends, is a very interesting question uh, uh, as asked. So let's say I have all the data of uh, the year 2005 to 2013, eight years data. And if you wanted to show each year, each quarter, how much is the sales? Don't have to put any formula. Click on a button, work is done. How? Simple. We use a pivot. So I go to the insert. Uh, actually, pivot table is a big topic, friend. It takes one hour to explain. So we sometimes have a time, so we explain, but I will quickly show you very step by step. Don't worry. I can't explain in detail pivot table. It will take time. So I say insert pivot. I hope a uh, basic thing you might be knowing about the pivot. Yes, Muhammad Ali, I will reply to all the questions. Okay. So thank you, David, for your feedback. And I say, okay. And after this friends, after this, I will take the date column put it under the row and I take the sales, put it under the values. Uh, this is the part which you should know. This is the basics of pivot. I hope you know. Now you have, you have put a date under the row. You have put sales under the values. Now you will right click on a date. This is a quarterly report. The person who had asked, you will say group. I click on a group and over here you get an option. And I say, I want year wise and quarter wise. And I say, okay. And your year wise and quarter wise report is ready. Want to make it more interesting. Take the date from here and put it under the column. So it will come from left side to right side and amazing. Do you see this? And I just type the year over here. Okay. Uh, you want me to explain this once again? I will explain you once again so that you know because our main intention is not to show the magic but you should be able to do the practice so i will explain quarterly report once again for you so i say insert i say pivot i say okay you click on date and over here you click on sales then what you do you will right click on the year and there is an option group after you click on group here you can say year and months so you have year wise and month wise report. No, I want a quarterly report. So I say group wise and I say year and quarters. And I say, okay, so you get year wise, quarter wise report. And then you take the date from here and put it under the column. And over here, your report is ready. 
now you think friends if you wanted to create this report on your own manually it would have took you half an hour not less than half an hour i'm telling you you will have to do so many time filter but here in just less than one minute drag drag right click group and your work is done is not this interesting <laughs> I hope you like this option. So thanks for reminding and you made sure that the Ramzan explained this to us. Huh? Very good. So now I have to see questions where I was, where you had asked. I'm just scrolling up. So what about quarterly reports, Rola? So I have replied this from Azadia Business. Yeah, we hope we have the video. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ramzan, for a professional approach. Thanks, Marwan. Thank you, Benil. Okay, Ed, Ed Gard is asking, can you please, please tell us how to move from one cell to another using a keyboard arrow because sometimes this function is blocked? Um, uh, uh, Azar, are you asking from one cell to another or from one sheet to another. One cell to another, so it's very simple. You just press arrow key. One cell to another is this, my friend. But if you are asking about the sheet, then it is this shortcut. Control, page down, and control, page up. So I press control, page down, control, page up. See, I'm moving between sheets. Control, page up, control, page down. But sometime, control, page up, and control, page down will not work because of your keyboard setting. So you have to press control function, page down, control function, uh, page up, then it will surely work. Now you have to search where is your function, a page up, page down key on your keyboard, or you have to ask the IT that thing, okay? So Sahil, thank you, thank you, thank you, Hamza. If we are doing calculation and we don't need to add the div slash, so for that, uh, Hamza, you have to use this function equal if error, if error. Sometimes you do some calculation, you get some div error, means is not able to divide by zero. Then you have to use if error function with uh, whatever formula you are using. So whenever there is a div, it will change with the option which you mentioned like space hyphen that comes in if error, but I can't go in detail because we don't have time for this now, okay? How can we remove dynamic table? Very good and interesting question. How do we remove the dynamic table, Muhammad Ali? Okay, so I can see 23 more messages down. I don't know if it's our question or how many are thank you. If I say thank you, half of them, then at least I have 10 more questions. Let me see uh, how many I can solve uh, if I have time. So quickly replying to Muhammad Ali question, how do you uh, remove the dynamic table? So remove the dynamic table is very simple, Muhammad. Uh, I will come on my data first. This is my data and you want to remove the dynamic table. So the first step, Muhammad, is you remove the color. If you want to keep color, remove color, keep color. But let's say I go to the design. On the top, you have to go to the design. And in design over here, you have to click. And first option you have to say over here is the none. So your color will go but your color has gone. Your dynamic table is still there. You will say Ramzan, how I will come to know this is dynamic table. So do you see this uh, arrow, blue arrow bottom on the side total here? This denote this is a table. So if you want to convert it to the normal data, you have right click on it. You have to right click and you have to go to the table. And in that, do you see this option convert to range? So you have to click on this option, right click table and say convert to range. He will ask you, hey, do you want to really convert your data to the normal range? I say, yes, that's all. Your data is now normal. Okay. Okay. So David is saying REA. Uh, REA. David, I don't know what is REA. <laughs> what you are trying to ask. Okay, Hamza is asking, how can we do it uh, in case we are doing for the whole month? How can we do it for the whole month? Are you saying reporting Hamza? Then you have to say same, right click, uh, pivot, group. Instead of quarter, you will say month. So you will get the monthly report. 
Thanks, David. Can you show us V lookup? Khulod is asking. So Khulod, V lookup. I need half an hour, my friend. So in future, if we plan some session for half an hour more, I can surely show you the V lookup because uh, uh, V lookup really takes time. Uh, I can't explain in two minutes. So in few seconds, I can only explain <laughs> it's a vertical lookup. And if you want to pull a data from another sheet or file, you can use a VLOOKUP. Entire syntax will really take some time. Okay. So it's very challenging uh, to explain now uh, in short time. Uh, thank you. How can we compare to Excel? You can compare to Excel with the help of VLOOKUP formula, Tamara. VLOOKUP is amazing formula. Half of your Excel work can be done with pivot table and VLOOKUP. If you know VLOOKUP and pivot table, you are good in Excel. If you don't know these things, then you should learn. Benin, can we schedule a training for pivot table? Acha Sana, okay, he's saying to Benin, sorry. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks, thank you, Ramzan. Oh, good, good. I can see many thanks message and less questions now. Otherwise I was thinking, <laughs> Salim is saying, Ramzan, it was very clear. Thank you, thank you. Please send the video. Okay, okay, great, 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 great. I can't see how to remove a sheet on keyboard. Okay, amazing. I think I should reply this question, Benil. Uh, Rimas is asking, how do you remove the sheet from the keyboard? You have to press this shortcut, Alt H D S, this one. Alt H D S. What is Alt H D S? Alt H for home, D for delete, S for sheet. See, I'm pressing a shortcut. But once you delete a sheet, you can't get it back because once you delete a sheet, undo option does not work. But still, I will just use it in front of you. Alt H D S. Enter. Halas. Sheet is gone. So instead of remembering this big shortcut, you can right click and remove it. Okay. But if you love shortcut, you can use this. Celia is uh, Ramzan. Yeah. Hi, Ramzan. Uh, I, I think probably we will have to wrap up the session now uh, because mm -hmm. of uh, people uh, probably leaving now for other yes. meetings. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we can try to uh, schedule maybe another session later <laughs> on. Uh, yeah. But uh, let's let's see where we can work with that. Perfect. Sure. All right. Uh, but uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate. Uh, the time and for today's session I believe that it was uh, quite insightful and um, I hope that people have learned a lot from this session and uh, thank you once again Ms. Uh, Ramzan and uh, Kumail for today's amazing session. Thank you. Thank you Benin for giving the opportunity and sorry friends sometime connect with you in the future sessions and I will solve your other uh, queries. Okay. Thank you so much and Benin will share the videos of it and a practice files on which I'm doing. So you can expect this uh, from him uh, in next uh, few days. Yeah. Thank you so much and take care everybody. Thank you once again, Benil, uh, for giving the opportunity to share the knowledge. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ramzan. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.